it's your man TK coming up to recording now I want to walk you guys through the basics of a geometric equation in start pro v8i uh i won't talk much in this video but i just hope you guys will learn a lot you probably want to rewind fast forward or do whatever i want to do and get the best of this video thank you very much follow the steps keenly and you get what you want to get so but let me just describe what i'm trying to do in start pro then we divide the design of structures into three modules the first one is the geometric creation that's where you create the the geometry basically that's like the structure you want to create then the second step is the analysis here you define the section properties you uh, define other material properties and supports and everything support condition load com combination and everything then the last stage is the design which is either steel design or reinforced concrete design so for this first video we are dealing with geometric creation so i'll walk you guys through different ways in which you can create geometries so simple so we're here we are going to attempt to create a very simple uh we're going to a very simple table using different methods of creating geometry so for this method first method is use of structural wizard So we've created the geometry right here. So the next, the, what I want to do now, I want to add a truss on top of this structure. So this is how I'm going to do that. Still using structural geometry. Structural wizard, I mean. Um, you have to um, make the dimensions match the dimension of the top of the table so that it will this would align properly So this is very basic uh, structure created I'm using the structure wizard. This is just one method. The other one I'm going to explain is uh, using nodes, but I am not going to create the same structure because of time. I'm going to create a simpler structure than this one. We use minus to move in the negative z axis.
um, the last one I'm going to show you is uh, imputing the the coordinates of the nodes directly into the table. This method is um, the most strenuous method, but in some cases you definitely need to use this method. It's worth knowing. You can also combine this method and the previous methods that you have learned. So. So you can see so you can keep adding the coordinates on the beams the nodes you keep adding down here so like I said you can combine different methods like after creating these nodes you can just simply go to The mirror is just another way you can translate a member without using translational repeats. But trust me, translational repeats is a lot easier. This is just what needs to be known. Thank you very much for watching the video and the next video we will see how we can analyze the simple structure. Thank you very much. God bless you.